Hello and welcome to the channel again. In today's video, we will revisit a model of fountain pen from Armando Simoni Club, and I'm going to share with you some insights about this pen. Bologna Extra is the specific model of the pen, and it is considered to be the flagship model that put ASC on the map. The story begins a few years ago when the former Omas Pen Company declared bankruptcy and decided to liquidate their entire assets. Mr. Emmanuel Caltagirone, the person who runs ASC, took over the entire remaining stock of materials and decided to give a new shape to the iconic Omas celluloid. The first pen in the Bologna Extra series was made in Arco Bronze celluloid and starting from there, we had a lot of different celluloids in which the pen model was produced. In this video, we will showcase the second version of the Bologna Extra, which is made from Omas Wild Celluloid, also known as Cracked Ice Celluloid. And we will have the two versions of it, Wild Side featuring rhodium trims and Dark Side featuring ruthenium plated trims. Let's unbox this pen. First, we have a rectangular cardboard box. Now, we lift the lid and inside we find a velvet sleeve and a booklet with information regarding ASC and their pens. Moving forward, we have another box. And this one right here is the box that holds the pen. We open it like this and inside we have the pen. Now, pulling from this string, we will lift the frame that holds the pen suspended between two plastic sheets. And under this, we find the warranty card. Now, let's not forget about the bold statement on the lid. No compromise, our pens are 100% handmade in Italy. And we are proud of that. Well, I'm proud of that too. Ever since it was launched, the Bologna Extra model became an overnight sensation, and I don't see why it would be different. We have a pen that is deeply rooted in the vintage era, but it's also featuring a lot of the modern trends of the pen world. The shape of the pen is inspired by the Omas Bologna, but it is taken to a whole new level when ASC decided to add extra to the name and made it in an oversized version which, if you ask me, it's a must in the current standards of our days. This is the dark side version of the Bologna Extra featuring ruthenium plated trims, and they do go well together. Ruthenium and the black of the celluloid, but also we do have the wild side version, which is made with rhodium plated trims. And for someone who is looking for a contrast, this one is the one to go with. There's also a gold plated trim version of this pen, but I don't have it with me at this moment. Now let's showcase some features of this pen. On top of the cap, we have the finial, which has a conic shape. Then we have the clip, which is vintage and styling and it's functional and easy to operate with the help of this small wheel. Here we have a inlay with the ASC logo and moving forward we find the cap band configuration and this is composed of three elements, a wider cap band in the middle with a Greek key design centered between two smaller rings. Then we have the cap, which is tapering, and this is made in order to keep the cap tightly hugging the section. We use two and a half turns, and we uncap the pen. And let's mention this thing. I know it's odd, but I advise you to smell the inside of this cap or any ASC cap in order to grasp the true smell of the Italian celluloid. Now let's get back to the pen. Here we have the 18 karat gold Magic Flex nib. This is made by Bach and it is laser engraved with the ASC logo and the linear motif. 
Under this, we find the ebonite feed, and this is not your everyday feed. And this is specifically designed with a horizontal cut in order to follow the nib under pressure. And this feature will give you a continuous ink flow, no matter how much pressure you apply when writing or how fast you write with your pen. The section of the pen is tapered towards the nib and at the end, right here, it flares and this is very, very comfortable. Then we have a step up right here and we have the threads of the cap, which are not that sharp. Then we have another similar configuration composed of a wider band with a Greek key motif centered between two rings and another step up and we have the barrel of the pen which runs without tapering towards the piston knob. On this barrel we find engraved ASC Bologna Extra Wild Dark Side depending on the model then we have the serial number of the pen. Then we have the blind cap, which is tapered, and at the end we find it conic in shape, just like the finial of the cap. And we have the filling mechanism of this pen, which, if you allow me to demonstrate, this pen uses a pneumatic filling mechanism composed of a rubber sack inside the barrel right here and we can squeeze the air out of that sack by operating the filling system. We extend the piston, we cover the small hole, now we plunge the pen in ink and we keep it submerged slightly above the section now, with our finger covering the hole, we plunge this piston, this great pressure in the barrel, and we squeeze the air out of the sack, creating vacuum inside. Now, when we lift our finger from this hole, the vacuum in the sack will draw ink. Now, let's have a writing sample, and we will put everything in perspective after that. Now let's see what this nib is capable of. In order to do that, I'm going to zoom in for you to better understand how this nib is performing. Let's wait to get it in focus. Okay. And let's start. We have the pen, ASC Bologna Extra. And this is the wild dark side. Then we have the nib, which is a 18 karat gold magic flex. Then we have the ink, which with a dark pen, we need a black ink. Aurora black. Then we have the paper 68 GSM Tomoe River. And now let's get into the fun part of this review and just look how wet this nib is. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Now let's try a flex test and we do have a lot of line variation and wetness and I don't advise you to really push this nib because it can spring but it offers quite a lot of line variation if you know how to operate it. Now let's try a reverse quite scratchy 
but it will take the nib from a medium broad to a medium. Now let's try some fast writing. The nib performs very, very well. It's smooth and doesn't have any problems and it behaves very, very nice. Bologna Extra is the pen that proves to everyone what can be achieved when we combine celluloid, which is a vintage natural material that can't be manufactured or replicated in our days, with modern techniques and a fresh design in order to recreate a bridge between the golden era of the fountain pen and the modern approach that we have to this hobby in our days. For me, this is the only pen from my entire pen collection that I own in every material that is produced. And first, this can tell you a lot about me. And second, it can tell you a lot about how great are these writing instruments. If you're interested in owning such a pen, you can find it available on the PenVenture website. And I'm going to leave you a link for it down below. I hope you enjoy spending this time with me reviewing the Bologna Extra Wild and Dark Side. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the PenVenture YouTube channel. And if you're looking for your next writing instrument, you can check the PenVenture website. For a more up-in-person approach, you can follow our Instagram channel and visit our Facebook page. And if you find anything interesting, give me a message there and I will be quick to answer. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.